we are doing grades for the Lions roster. We're going to go through all the players and the grades that I have for each position. So a quarterback position and a grade. Why I did it that way. Embarrassing. And basically, it's comparison to the rest of the NFL. But before we get into this video, a little over 100 subscribers away from that big magical 4,000 subscribers. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out at any Detroit Lions. And we got a lot of content coming the way, post-game shows, and everything. So go ahead and get it done. Let's start the video right now. For the quarterback position, I'm going to give this one a B-. minus. Let me explain myself really quick. Why I say B-, minus. Jared Goff is fine. I have no problem with him being the starter this year. He's not the elite quarterback out there, but he's a solid quarterback. He's a quarterback that we know we can get the job done with him. He can distribute the football. He's got weapons. He's sound regarding injuries. The guy can play through some pain. We've seen it in a playoff game. And he played with a surgical repaired finger just after a week of done. So this guy can get it done there. The reason it's a B minus, the minus comes from Nate Sudfield. He's not Tim Boyle. He's not David Blau. So I, I like him better than those guys, but he's nothing special. He's a mediocre backup quarterback. I preferred them to go to a different route like a Webb or a Cooper Rush. But they decided to go Nate Sudfield for the Lions here. And that's why I went for that B minus grade. Look, I think we're okay here. Jared Goff's just got to stay healthy. That's the biggest thing. If you want this quarterback position to be good this year, you don't want Nate Sudfield in. You want Jared Goff. So I give them a B minus. What is not a B minus, what is an A plus, though, is Lions Nation Unite merchandise. Go to lnushop.com. You get the latest, greatest. Shirts, Bella Calavas, hats, cups, everything. And we got some epic gear coming your way here soon for that. Let's continue on with the running backs. I got B plus here. Why? I think we got a hell of a running back group. I truly do. DeAndre Swift, Jamal Williams as your 1-2, and backup Craig Reynolds 3. That's damn good. Right now, we only got three running backs on the roster. Do we have the, like, elite three? No. But, man, we got a really solid group right there. I absolutely love it. Practice squad, Justin Jackson is solid. I really like him. I think that makes it from A- minus to a B plus is Jamar Jefferson. Not sold on Jamar Jefferson right here. He didn't really do anything special for me, in all honesty. So that's why I, I kind of knocked it down a grade because of him. And then we go Jace Cabinda, obviously, for injured to return at some point. He's the fullback, running back, tight end, whatever the hell you want to call him. That's why I went that route with these guys. Let me know what, what is your grade for the running back group. I think that's solid there. They got a hell of a group, not complaining. Let's go ahead and look at the tight ends here. I went B-. minus. I love what we have with TJ Hawkinson, but the problem with him is can he stay healthy throughout a regular season. So far, he hasn't. Backups, Brock Wright, Shane Zilstra, James Mitchell. Brock Wright, solid. Uh, the rest of them is... Uh, we don't really know about them. I'm going to give it a B-. minus. almost went C+. Plus. But TJ Hawkinson is a really good tight end when he's on the field. So I went from a C plus to a B- minus for him. After that, it's a toss-up. I don't even know why we got two tight ends on the practice squad. That's what they went there. We just got to make sure that TJ Hawkinson's on the field. That's that's the biggest deal. We don't want to see a ton of the rest on there. We really don't. Brock Wright, like I said, I, I'm all right with him. But if we're not seeing TJ, it's going to get downgraded from there. Let's talk about the wide receivers. I went solid A here. I love what we have at the wide receiver position. Shark, Amon Ross, St. Brown, Josh Reynolds. Backups, Khalif Raymond, Quintus Cephas. That's damn good five. That's a really good five. And wait till Jamison Williams gets in the lineup there. He's going to be wreaking havoc. Practice squad's pretty good. Tom Kennedy and Maurice Alexander. I love I love that 
what we have here at the wide receiver position. So I'll give it a solid A. If we were to give an A+, plus, it would have to probably be an elite wide receiver. Right now, we don't have like a top five wide receiver. It could happen after this year. But giving it an A, I think, is a, is a grade that's perfect right now for what we got going on. And I think that it's one of the better groups in the NFL. Let's go to the offensive line. A-plus here. I think it's the best group in the NFL. Starters, Taylor Decker, Jonah Jackson, Frank Ragnow, Big V, Panay Sewell. They are right now the the best off starting offensive line in the NFL. I'm going to say it right now. Backups, the question mark is Matt Nelson. But that's that's really the question mark. Evan Brown, Tommy Kramer, Logan Stenberg's your backup guards. They're damn good. Evan Brown may be the best backup setter in the NFL. Logan Stenberg turned it up like, like no other in preseason. Tommy Kramer, a pretty good one there. Dan Skipper and Obeda Eze for practice squad is really good. Is really good. So you're not going to hear me complain about these guys. So I love what they did there. This offensive line deserves an A+. When you're the best in the NFL from, from me, you get an A+. Point blank, period. I don't know what else to say. They are absolutely freaking epic. Let's continue on with the defensive line. I went C-plus here, and I'm going to tell you why. I know a lot of people say, what? I'm not worried about the starters. Aiden Hutchinson, Michael Brockers, Ali McNeil, Charles Harris. Michael Brockers, really not that good. He's a good leadership, but we're talking about skills. The issue is backup with Levi Anwuzarike, Julian Aquara, not staying healthy. I love what we have with Austin Bryant, John Kaminsky, I think they're great backups there. Demetrius Taylor as well. But I'm not sold on the injury front. And same with Joshua Pascal, injury. Romeo Aquara, injury. That's why I went C-plus and not higher. James Houston, Bruce Hector, I have no problem with those guys being on the Lions for the position there, for the the backup role there as a practice squatter, but am I sold on them right now? No, I'm not. So I'm going to give it a C plus. That's the grade that I give it as, and we'll see going forward what they can do. But in all honesty, that's what I got for sure. What is your grade of the roster? A, B, C, D, or F? Just grade the whole damn thing right now let me know in the comment section what your grade is for this bad boy let's continue on to the linebacking core i went d here the reason i didn't go d minus i do feel like malcolm rodriguez is getting better and same with Derek barnes but i'm still not 100 percent sold on what's going on chris board josh woods really not that good backups chris board's more a special teamer in all honesty jared davis anthony Pittman. they should have picked somebody else i up, I think, for the practice squad. This is the worst group on the team right now is the linebackers. But there is promise from Malcolm. There is promise from Derek Barnes. The rest, not a lot of promise. I'm not sold at all on these guys. So that's a negative group for me. Let's go ahead and jump to the corners. I went C-plus here. Amani Awarie, Jeff Okuda, Mike Hughes. All right. They could get better. They definitely could. Waiting for Jerry Jacobs to get back. Once Jerry Jacobs gets back fully healthy, I'd probably go a little bit higher on there. Backups, I love Chase Lucas and Bobby Price. Will Harris, I don't know why he's on this team, really, in all honesty. A.J. Parker, okay. Xavier Smith, eh. I think C-plus is a solid grade. You know, they're up there with one of the... Oh, lesser talented groups on this roster. We just got to see what they can do. We got to see what it, what Jeff Okuda can do. Again, I'm encouraged what he's done, but we got to see it, in all honesty, just for me. Just show it. If they can show it, it will go up. But I am encouraged. I am encouraged. But we need to get better and see it on the field first before we say that, that they're you know this much better going forward. Let's continue on here. With the safety position, C minus. I think that the second worst group on this team right now. Tracy Walker, all right. Deshaun Elliott is injury prone. He's never stayed healthy 
for their football team when he was with the Baltimore Ravens. He's just not. Futu Malfon who's been injured, folks. He has been injured. I forgot to throw in here Juju Hughes. He's also part of this team as a backup role. Kirby Joseph, he's still young. He needs a lot of development. I, I like him, though. He is a turnover machine when he was in college, but he's not ready right now. And I think that they deserve the second lowest grade on this list because we really got to see it to believe it. And we've seen in preseason them get beat up a little bit. The back end of the defense was getting exposed. We need more time for, for Joseph. I love Afutu Malafonwo, but damn it. He's got to stay healthy for me to jump up and give it something different. Let's go ahead and talk about the specialist for the Detroit Lions here. Jack Fox, the GOAT. God dang it, you got to love Jack Fox. He's, he's one of the best, if not the best punter right now in the NFL. Austin Siebert. Eh, okay, kicker. Scott Daly, it's a long snapper, really. Practice squad, Aldrick Rosas, whatever. Don't really got nothing else to say there about the punt or about the extra kicker. You know, B, I think it's a solid grade for the special teams. Also, you got to put on there the special teams units. Been solid for the Lions all the way around for the last year and a half. They've been solid, too. I'm not going to place all those names on there, but... The specialists themselves, Jack Fox, great. Austin Siebert, eh. Scott Daly, it's a it's a long snapper. So what else, I mean, what else you really want to say? But uh, that is what it is. Let me know again what you have the grade for the Detroit Lions. Throw that in the comment section below. I'm curious to see what your grades are for them. Adios. Perfect. Perfect.